Stephanum from Governor's Office of Emergency Services. Hi, I'm Mariah Bickham with Cal OES. This week, Cal OES is proud to accept multiple awards for the work being done to improve several programs from employee timekeeping to wildfire management. Cal OES Chief Information Officer Michael Cruz was on hand at the award ceremony. I am so proud of, it's not just our team, I'm proud of our program's uh, leads. Today, I, you know, I want to congratulate our HR team for uh, releasing the uh, HR modernization or Empower new timekeeping system, which is great. Uh, we also uh, released a, a grants management new, new platform, so uh, our new grants team is, is uh, operating on that new platform after several years, maybe even decades. Uh, law enforcement has a new reimbursement system, which is critical to their operations. And then finally, the wildfire, threat, wildfire forecast threat intelligence integration center. As much of California enjoys multiple days of pleasant summer weather, many people have been enjoying rivers, lakes, and streams. When in or around water, especially with kids or pets, it's important to be prepared and aware. One, never swim alone or jump in after somebody who has fallen in. Two, always bring a friend or someone who can call for help if needed. And three, most importantly, always wear a life jacket. If there's something that should be done. And finally, Cal OES Listos California continued to host their 2024 Disaster Ready Summits, which this week stopped in Fresno, California. These summits bring together community-based organizations and local emergency management professionals to learn tools to build community resiliency and relationships before disaster strikes. If you want to learn more about these topics, visit news.caloes.ca.gov and follow us on all of our social media platforms.